Witcha, what's up? We fight for for money. Man, I got a lot more white in my beard lately. God damn it. How y'all doing? I don't I don't understand. Carpet's gone? Yes. Carpet is temporarily gone. As someone, when they weren't feeling well, decided they should just barf all over it. Like, just barf all over it. <laughs> you, got, you guys didn't see, but on one of those things, so I'm like, excuse me, during the Friday stream, when I, or Saturday stream, when I was like... Oh, hey, excuse me a second. That's because the dog was on the corner of the carpet going blah and like barfed up his whole dinner. Is he feeling okay? He's still tired. And you can tell his tummy still hurts a little bit, but he's doing better. Got him on doggy medicine. We got follow up appointments with the vet, so he'll be fine. Well, what it means is that maybe I'm sleeping out here on, in the in the living room so I can stay up late and, and watch the boy because because I worry too much. Because I because I because I because I'm a bit of a fussy man about my my dog. Yeah, whenever I have an upset stomach, Paige just tell me to fuck off and to suck it. And I'm like, but my tummy hurts. And she's like, and she's like, shut up. I do know it. And then she threatens me with her fist. Okay, that's true. That one, that, ironically enough, that's the part <laughs> of the story that's the most true. <laughs> my, my very strong fist. That's nice, honey. That's Look nice. How strong I am. Oh, you, I'm gonna get you. Oh. Hey, Boopa. Hey, Boopa. You can't see him, but Boopa's is right here. Oh, there he is. Boopa's, as you can see, is not good on hardwood floors, as you just saw him fucking fall down. That dog's not smart. He's not smart. All right. Hey, so yeah, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to give him the stupid pink thing because I know it'll make him happy. Yeah, give him the pink thing. So, like, we're doing more Witcher today. Uh, so what I did, because um, uh, the internet outage was also accompanied by a power outage, so I actually lost that file. Uh, the whole, everything I had done in the swamp. Um since loading in there is gone so I had to go back and kill those fucking owl ghouls again and I did it I got the owl ghouls so I said you know I saved the game and we're gonna go talk to you try to hit me with that no I was just doing that for the dog so uh luckily luckily Pat why is Zangief melting uh so sunlight makes the dog's face look extra bad because it really accent because all the the folds and curves. Marilyn Jutsu says, "Just want to thank you for doing this, so I could watch the first two games for story stuff." You're quite welcome. Apparently, uh, I can use Witcher. Uh, Witcher. I can use Witcher as my Witcher. art house, uh, art shit house vanity 
stream LP as I transition into full-time React streamer. Oh, did you get my text, by the way, Paige? Um, Fuck. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Um, Goblin. I'm probably going to do a, a, a variety stream a week now. That was weirdly successful. Cat, don't say it like that. It was fun. I think I might be the, per the the person in this business who openly is actively confused by every single part of the business more than anyone. I don't understand watching content. I don't understand streams. I told you it would be fun, Patrick. Okay, but that's we're not talking about what you told me. This is about me now. I don't understand watching LPs. I don't like Mystery Science Theater. I just don't get it. Okay, first of all, you have bad taste, but secondly... But I guess I don't need to get it because I'm a pro. And I'm the best that ever was. Did Variety Stream get copyright struck? It's not up. No, I'm just intentionally deleting... Uh, sorry. No, oh, I did not make it going live to... Damn it! Uh, no, I don't... Uh, I'm not... There will be no VODs for those Variety Streams. This is a way to increase the immersion. It's like, it's really like you had to be there. Right? Because like, like back in the day, do you guys, do you guys remember, do you guys remember back in the day when you wanted to fucking watch a TV show and you had to get home? by 4.30, or else you'd miss that day's episode of Beast Wars. Well, that's actually a bad example, because Beast Wars aired at 7.30 p.m. But you know what I mean. Wait, what? What? Did that? No. Wait, wait, what time did you say it aired? 7.30. A.M. P.M. A.M. On YTV, Beast Wars aired Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Yeah, on Channel 23, it would air... At 7.30 and, uh, I believe, 3.30 p.m. Yeah. On weekdays. Well, guess what? What? Beast Wars was a Canadian TV show being aired uh, on YTV, sorry, which is... Called, what was it called again? It was sorry, called... Was, yeah, sorry, it was called Beasties. Beasties! Because we couldn't put the word war in the title. Ridiculous! Have you ever seen the intro? They actually say Beasties in it. Yeah, like, no, it's part of the I've song. Never heard no, it's it. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Go, go look that up. No. Do you, am, I not, am I not telling the truth here? Because I, I knew that they edited out the guns, and that's why in later seasons they all have, like, wrist things that they press that shoot lasers out of their wrists. Yeah, you kids don't know how good it is. You get the graphic violence in the in your TV shows. Back in our day, everybody was like, oh, you can't show a gun, and Spider-Man can't kick people. No, he, he kicked. He kicked people. He kicked one guy once. And it was, a, and it was like a clone. Spider-Man in the Fox cartoon. I'm pretty sure he he does not. He does not he throw didn't, a. He, didn't punch. he does not throw a single punch he or kick. Punch, he kicks. No, he, he uses his kicks. web to pull things onto no, people. No, no. no, there's plenty of things with Pat. Look at me. Look at me. He swings. You see how I'm doing? And his legs go out, and he pushes. People only that way. no, only to robots. Go to hell. No, I'm serious. Go to hell. No. That's not true. So what? You know what? So I'm gonna say. You know what's way worse than that? As Cat Pernicus points out. By far the worst ever is Leonardo being nerfed into only being able to use kicks ever on TMNT. Wait, why? Because he can't hit somebody with his swords, Paige. That's not Leonardo. Raphael's got the, the things. I forget what these are called. I no, said... These, these things. Wait, Leonardo's got swords? So 
Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Wait, who's got the staff? Who's got the staff? I'm losing it. Wait, I'm losing it. Wait, okay, who has what? Explain to me. No, Pat, look. Why don't you tell me who has what? Um, <laughs> uh, Leonardo has, I think he's the one with the staff, right? He's got a staff. And then, and then, uh, and then, okay, I'm so, hold on. And then fucking, uh, Raphael has the little knives. I can't remember the name of them right now. But they have Called Sai. Sai, sorry, yeah. He's got those, right? I know that. And then, fucking, uh... <laughs> oh my god, I get his name. Uh, hold on. It's... <laughs> can you see what I'm doing? She's you just doing this. What she's doing, though, right? Uh, fucking... Oh my god, how do I... I love the Ninja Turtles. Hold on. Leonardo... Raphael. And that's oh, it. On, that's the whole group. Oh, I'm gonna get That's him. the whole group. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get Leonardo. What the fuck? I used to watch this all the time. I have so many toys. Hold on. I didn't take my Adderall yet. Hold on, hold on. Oh, don't use that as an excuse. No, you know it's true, Pat. Come on. Alright, hold on, hold on. No. This is bad. Ezio. Fettuccine. Yeah, linguine and pepperoni, blah, yeah. blah, blah. No, shit. Hold on. Leonardo. Raphael. And then, oh my god. Uh, and then the rest of the gang. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so fucked up right now. No. I can do it. I can do... No, just, just think about it. What, you telling me to think I'm about like, it? Don't look at the chat. They're I putting know, answers in there. I didn't look at the chat. I looked... Okay. I was looking at the time because I want to make sure I boil his chicken. Okay, who's the fifth one? Venus. I think that's true. Yeah, it is true. Venus is the fifth one. I, I actually meant I actually Splinter. meant Splinter, right? But no, okay, that kind of yeah. Splinter, but yeah, no Venus. Wait, you remember fucking Venus, but you can't remember the third Ninja Turtle? She had tits. That was crazy. How? It's very memorable. Who's the third Ninja Turtle? Leonardo. Raphael, and then <laughs> he's my favorite one, Calabonga. Okay, Paige, so let's stop. Like what color favorite. is Leonardo's? Uh, Leonardo is is blue. Okay. Blue. Okay. What well, and and Raphael's red. Right. And then there's orange, and then there's purple. Right. Right. But I I can't. And Leonardo has the staff. Leonardo has the staff. Does he not? One of them. Come on. One of them's got a staff. Fuck you guys. Right? What's the name of the orange one? Do you remember what weapon that's, the that's orange the guy yeah, had? Yeah, he's got the nunchucks. There you go, nunchucks. No, I said that earlier. No, you actually never said the word nunchucks. You just keep doing oh, this. Oh, you're super right. You you're just keep right. doing this. <laughs> you're so... <laughs> I didn't. Nunchucks. Okay, so he's got those. You know, but yeah, he's yeah. got those. You knew, we knew... I knew... Yeah, you knew. What they were. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I just didn't know the name, okay? And so... This is... I am so sweaty. Okay, well, I've got... Not I've because got, it's hot, but because I'll give, I'm anxious. I'll give a hint for no, you. No, no hint. No hint? Okay. No, I have to do this myself. You've got to do it I'm, yourself. I'm almost... Th I'm in my mid-30s. Do you remember the, the name of the guy with the hockey mask? Oh, my God. Yes, but I... God damn it. It's something really normal. It's it's a name. It's okay, do like you remember name. there was a lady who dressed in yellow? April. Hey, there you go. Okay. All right. I used to have like a getup just like that. Okay. I'll tighten it. So too. you know everything about the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I, well, I know everything about everything around them. What about the guy who sounded just like Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil. Yeah. What do you, I don't understand. What From you mean. the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I. What do you mean? There was a guy on Ninja Turtles that sounded just what like Uncle Phil. Like? He looked like a guy covered in metal. Oh, yeah, yeah, fucking Shredder. Oh, okay. You're not stupid. Well, that was Uncle Phil, by the way. Oh, really? I yeah. did not. That's amazing. Yeah, this so think, sound like Uncle think, Phil. think about when he would get really pissed on Fresh Prince. Oh, my God. Okay, so here's the funny story. I never watched a full episode of Fresh Prince, but it was- God like, damn but, it! But hold on. But hold on, hold on. It was always on. Because my best friend, she had it on 24-7, so I was always hearing the characters, and I absorbed a lot of it 
Wait, why are you? Why are you? That mad was at me? that was like legitimately the best show on TV for like my. No, no, no! D- Don't get me wrong. I just never sat down for a full episode because it was literally always. You on. know what? You know what? Paige has also never seen a full episode of. Seinfeld, not Pat, one. Fuck you. No. Seriously, one. fuck you for this. Okay, listen. Okay, Seinfeld is a great show, but hear me out. It stresses me the fuck out. I can make, and, and it follows a very specific formula, okay? So, like, right up to the 15 minute mark, oh, George, I don't know, you get the lottery ticket. Oh my God, it's the winning one. Oh, it's so crazy. And right, and the, like, here's all the things I'm gonna do with it. And it goes, do, 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 do. And right here, the 15 minute mark, uh oh, the wind, I don't know, blew it away or whatever. And then, oh, crash and burn. I can't do it. I don't need that shit in my life. I can't do I give. I have watched so many episodes of Seinfeld up until like that point and then i can't anymore i think the craziest thing is that she was able to watch always sunny and she's seen a bunch of curb your enthusiasm which is physically damaging to me okay but to be fair to be fair number one i watched a lot of um uh curb your enthusiasm with adam who let me pause it every, oh, that, every okay. two minutes that's helpful so that i could go to the bathroom and he but like even <laughs> even like the like the middle of a seinfeld episode is like half as strong as the first 90 seconds of an episode of curb like curb is like well, is, it's, it's to- oh yeah well yeah because i did i'd stop every couple of minutes to like like mop my brow and like fan yeah. myself and of course you were spending all that time watching ninja turtles but you are such a big fan of fucking the orange one the I orange can't. one yeah fuck you oh, michelangelo <laughs> michelangelo i got it i did it <laughs> i did it <laughs> cuz i heard the song in my head all right you know. so who's the purple one fuck uh, okay leonardo michelangelo with the, with the staff, yeah raphael and Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Bill. Uh, no, uh, fucking Leonardo. I can't believe she remembers Venus, but not th- that's hurting me. She has huge boobs. It was weird. I it, it sticks out in my mind. Fuck, I can't. So this is the one with the, with the purple that had the two swords, right? No, he's got the staff. Or is that Leonardo? But you said Leonardo had the staff. Which one's got the staff? The purple or the blue one? I don't remember. I'm gonna fucking... I just don't remember. I'm gonna shit on this floor. I'm so mad. Fucking... No, no hints, huh? Leonardo, no. Leonardo. I know this. Why am I... Does it start... No. Leonardo. What is wrong with me? Is it possible that, like, this got lost in a stroke at some point? I mean, it's possible. (laughs) Uh, fuck. It was Mussolini, Paige. Shut up. No, Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, and... Is Leonardo... Okay, here's a question. Is Leonardo the leader? Yes. Okay. And he has the purple, right? Or is he the blue one? Okay, you can tell me that. Leo is blue. Okay, Leo's blue. So the purple one. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. This is very up to... Oh! 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 Donatello! You know why I know that? Do you know why I know that? Why? Because a great Dane at the dog park had a purple collar on. And and the owner said he's named Donatello. After the turtle! It hit me. Oh, thank god. Thank you. Sorry. Which one's your favorite? I'm upset, and I don't want to tell you. Oh, okay. Because cause I do have a favorite. Yeah, it was, it's Mikey. You just said that it was your favorite, and that's why it was so funny you could remember his name. Michelangelo. Okay, so Michelangelo was my favorite to watch, but I actually had a big crush on Raphael. Of course you did. <laughs> that's what he was there for. Yeah, kind of. Is that how you remember things via dogs? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a help. No, it's just... I don't, I'm really bad at names, but I remember, like, visuals. Yeah, like, like, Leonardo with the staff. Shut up. Okay, so, okay, so back to what we were talking about. He's got swords, I guess, Yes. Right? I don't remember swords. Yeah, there, there, there is actually a reason for that. It's because he wasn't allowed to hit anyone with those swords. He could only kick people or slash robots. Oh my god, you're right. I remember, do you, okay, do you remember the toy? 
that could shoot the pizzas? Yeah, I got a million of those. It hit my dad and my brother with them. Okay, I still have that toy. Yeah, it's a good toy. I still have it. That Those things would fire way too hard. Way too hard. Like, it was like a BB gun. Yeah, it's awesome. That was back when toys were fucking off. Yeah, see, I don't, you kid, you kids, anybody, un, like, and I'm like 36, right? Anyone, oh wait, am I 36? Yeah, I'm 36, right? And So, like, the you kids doesn't even, you don't even have to be much younger than me. Anyone 10 years younger than me, like, if you're 25, uh, the fucking toys that were around when me and Paige were kids had absolutely no safety standard of any kind at all. There was no desire to make anything safe at all. And it was awesome. Toys could just kill you. Yeah. They're, okay, so I know that it's probably mostly dudes in here, but if you were a chick or a little girl growing up in uh, the McKee. early 90s, McKee. Uh, or new little girl growing up in the 90s, you probably remember this toy that could, like a little baby doll, and it could eat things. Yeah. And I remember that. So many little girls would get too close to it while I was eating, and it would eat their hair and rip out a chunk out of their scalp. Yeah. So um, I had that. It was you awesome. had it. Oh yeah. Because in the in the in the thing they show spaghetti, like you're feeding the the, the 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 doll spaghetti, but the motor was also weirdly powerful, and it was targeted exclusively at girls like age five to ten, and so the little girl's hair would get stuck in it, and there was nowhere to get the hair out. So on on uh, fucking. Uh, December 26th of like 1996 the news is reporting like hundreds of fathers had to decapitate their doll their little girl's new doll because it was tearing their scalp apart and like hurting them <laughs> there's also like I remember this very specific, it was not strawberry shortcake, I don't think, but it was a very specific smell that if you were a little girl in the 90s, it's a very specific scent. It's, it's this very weird cherry smell. And everything that was food related smelled like it. So you'd get like a cherry cupcake doll and she could, it was like a transformer and she could transform into a, like a cake and I, I had the blueberry one because it was my favorite. Hey, I have a question for you, Paige. What? Do you remember dragonflies and or sky dancers? Patrick, I know everything about fucking sky dancers. Okay, now. so did you ever have a sky dancer toy? You better believe I did. Was that not the most dangerous one out of them all? Oh, God. I would aim them at my brother's face. I, and, like, that... and like we would hit each other with them. They, they ruled. Did you ever do it outside? Oh, yeah. So how how hard was it to find it? Because those things would go like 200, 200 feet in the air. Over the trees. <laughs> like, like, it was crazy. And, dude, there was a show. There was a show there were, called the, Sky Dancers. Each of them had a show. Sky Dancers. Oh, my God. We're back to Sky Dancers. And then... And hey, how do I change it the... It so melodramatic. How do I change the channel point stuff? I'm sick of you people s s using your channel points. It flies, though. It was... It so was the exact same, it was the exact same thing. I don't remember that. Literally the same toys. I think they were painted different. Shut up, really? Yeah. Trying to find the p viewer rewards. Shadow points! Oh, God. It's like, I don't know if I'm just anxious and embarrassed, but I am. Yeah. You okay, Papa? Channel points. Okay. Oh, I'm going to turn off the cult's totem. Eat shit on that. Wait, why are you mad about the totem? Uh, they won't. They what won't. Are, what are totems? Don't worry about it. No, but what is it? Highlight my message. Okay, we're going to kick this up to... Viewers earn 120 points an hour on average. Boo, 2,000 I... is way too little. We're going to kick that up to 100 grand. Pat, boo. Find 50 grand. Everyone's always complaining about, oh, I have anything to use my channel points on. Oh, here you go. Highlight my message. That, 50 grand. That is rude. Because people highlight... People highlight shit all the time, and it's always trash. That's expensive. It's points! Yes. It's not even money! It's expensive! That means they have to sit here and watch you? Ew. As if, uh, nailed it. This w mm. Oh, then that, see, now they're using up their points. Hey, how many points do you guys have? Uh, 
Oh, you guys have a lot. How many points? How do uh, you check my points? I don't know. It's per channel. How do you... How do you Diana, check? do you really have 1.9 million points? How do you check points, guys? Do, really? Jeez, Diana. And no sub badge. Hmm. Interesting. Patrick. Boom, Patrick! Inflation is rough right now, you dick. Hey. How do I check? Inflation's always rough. It stretches your skin. Your eyes pop out. You're all, you're ready to burst, but not quite. It keeps stretching and stretching and stretching. And then Sonic gets you pregnant. All right. I want to play some Witcher. So, we're going to thank some people. Paige? What? Thank you for coming out to the stream today. Oh, to, am, I, am I being dismissed? No, to, to to regale us with your TMNT knowledge. Hey, we got to watch that new one. Yeah, we do. That new one's fancy. Yeah. Hey, uh, which one's your favorite turtle? Me? Yeah. Raph. Why? He's a dickhead and he spoke with a Brooklyn accent. Yeah, how come he has the Brooklyn accent and the others don't when they all came from the same sewer? Well, they all have different New York accents. What? Do they? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, like Michelangelo has the surfer dude accent from New York. And Donatello has the, the autoerotic asphyxiation robot fetishist accent of New York. And then the other one? Leo's just some dickhead. But Le Leonardo, sorry, Raphael fulfilled the same role on Team NT As that Wolverine. Wolverine did on the X-Men cartoon, which is everyone's like, here's the plan. He's like, I don't want to do the plan. That's hot. I love that. Also, I think he's the shortest one, isn't he? They're all exactly the same height in the, in the cartoon. Are you sure? Yes. They just have different colored bandanas? Yeah. Here's and, a question. and in fact, in the comics, they don't even have different colored bandanas. Yeah, no, I know that. They're all red, which is like, and it's in black and white, so yeah. it's like, what the actual fuck? Depends on which version you're watching. We're obviously talking about the original. Duh. Wait, here's my question. With the... With the... With Leonardo and... Versus Donatello, what is the difference between them, like, like uh, behavior wise? Like, Leo's the leader, and and Donnie's the nerd. He's the, okay. That's right, because he's because he does the machines. Machine okay, right. Yeah. Okay. One is circumcised. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, when you watch Pizza Time, they all look pretty much the same. Sangate, stop that. Also, heads up, don't watch Pizza Time. I love how every day I do a stream now, I mention some cursed internet shit, and then somebody goes, no. Wait, what do, you, what do you mean you're mad? Wait, you can't believe I didn't try to sing the theme song? Don't sing the theme song. What if I sang it? Don't sing the theme song. Why? I, well, one, I don't want to hear it, but... Why? You don't want to hear my gorgeous voice? No, I don't want to hear the theme song. <laughs> Ninja you just say ninjas turtle? I don't know why. These turtles are fucking minge. <laughs> oh. Uh, Paige, kick the dog. Stop. Kick him. Kick turtles him. Turtles in a half shell. Paige. I'm literally. It's time to boil what? some chicken. Patrick. Paige. I'm gonna boil your chicken. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm out of here. Oh, well, no, I'm sorry. Right, let's oh. thank some people. Maybe they know about Ninja Turtles. I really think you might have lost that information in a stroke. Yeah, I might have. Because the way you, you knew it, but you couldn't connect it. You knew, you knew yeah, but you couldn't connect it, which is like, that looks like a broken neural pathway. Yeah, I know. I mean, I would never accuse you of being a massive Ninja Turtles poser. Yeah, like, remember that time you pretended to be into video games to attract me? <laughs> but she's a girl! What? <laughs> yeah, I left a... I left a trail of PS2 controllers leading into my vagina. 
China. It That's worked. How you do it, ladies. It worked. Hey, Kodo G kicked in 20 bucks. This is a couple days ago, but thanks, Kodo. Thanks for all the laughs. You guys are always hilarious. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. Apollyon AOD sub, thank you. Blue Wizard sub, have a great stream. Looks like I'll be getting that new job. Congrats. Lower work hours, but in actuality, my new boss looked at my body of work and said I should be getting paid more, too. So after about two, three months of training, I'll be a scientist and making 30% more than I am now and working 30% less. Life is pretty good. Like, getting paid more is great. Working less is better. Like... Like that, that's... That's something you learn as you get older. Money's great, but free time is better. Yeah. That's why you need to get yourself a wife so you, you can spend your time working and relaxing and then the house will just take care of itself in the background. I don't want to look over to the left now. But I'm going to. <laughs> Don't stop streaming? Yeah, I'm not moving outside the, the vision of this camera. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, a Spanish Americana kicked in a sub. Says, oh, I wish ya. Thank you. Your special friend subbed. How's everybody? I'm doing well, thank you. Albo Bomb sub. Thanks, Albo Bomb. Thank you. Pocket Bear Illustrator kicked in a sub. Pat, got a super important question I need answered right here, right now. Is there a chance the, bra the track could bend? Not on your life, my Hindu friend. Monorail. Good old monorail. I don't understand what the difference between a monorail and a train is. Aren't they both trains? One's on a monorail. Damn. The rail is mono. And it gives you mono. Oh, is that true? Yeah, everyone that rides on a monotrain, a monorail, sorry, gets mono. Hey, do you think the monorail episode was partly responsible for the anti-train rhetoric in the United States? Because people in the U.S. think trains are for pussies. Yeah, I don't know why trains are... Wait, no, wait, that's not true. Everyone loves trains. That's not true. That is true. No, that's not true. It's true. Uh, I'm from America. Then how come Los Angeles has that all that freeway and no train? We Los Angeles actually has an underground train. It needs more. That nobody uses. It, it, so that's my point! Because it's filthy. Have you been in one? Oh my I've god. I've never been in an American train. No. So I have been in Americans the Americans are the problem. Crazy. Oh, that's right. Because if you're in your car, you don't have to worry about somebody else being in your car with a gun. Or trying to steal your gun. You can also fart freely in your car. That's true. I learned this on the the long trip here with Paige. So, b barring, barring having a horn that you could use to honk at the children, uh, when Paige would pass semis, she would lean her butt out the window and have her own horn ready. I'm gonna poison you. I know you will. <laughs> So I'm trying to get out in front of it. I'm, gonna, I'm cooking your dinner. You're insulting. No, you're cooking the dog's dinner. Right now I'm not cooking. I'm cooking the dog's dinner. But soon it will be your turn. And I'm going to cook your goose. Oh, goose sounds good. Thank you. I lock sub, but what about us brain dead slobs? You'll be given cushy jobs. Ah. Oh. Wizard of Diamonds, so thanks, Wizard of Diamonds. Oh, hey, you two, hope your post-BC life is getting better and better. It is. It's fucking awesome out here. In Love your, it. In the last couple of months, I've been in therapy and regularly seeing a psychiatrist for antidepressants. Your phrasing, so your phrasing on that is pretty funny because it sounds like you're literally hitting your dock up and be like, hit me up with them pills, bro. Uh, and I feel like I have a new lease on life combined with the feeling of, is this how normal people feel like all the time? Sorry for the overshare, but I love you guys. I'm just so happy. Yeah, so if you get if you get some pills that even you write the fuck out and you feel like really great, 
you can, in fact, be caught in the nightmare of, is this how normal people feel all of the time? It's, it's crazy. And um, it kind of sucks. Like, when I... When I'm on um, Adderall. Adderall, like I just I'm I'm like so well okay no I'm I'm more productive than like three people, but but comparatively yeah it's pretty great. It's like what do you mean you you just walk down the street without being horribly crippled by anxiety and thinking that everyone is judging you at all times you to mean, the point where you want to piss your pants. You mean you, you mean normal people don't walk out to their car just to cry for no reason? Wait, you're that's not... you're telling me that the average person when they go to a convenience store and buy a pack of gum aren't thinking that the person behind the register is secretly judging them and recording all of their interactions so that they can laugh about them later at home? Yeah, me either. You mean the man in the suit isn't real? Oh, well, that's that's a different problem. That's true. Because the man in the suit is real. He is real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Watch uh, out. So I want to point out, and Diana already hopped on it. Um, the 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 clerk at the grocery store, uh, pharmacy, and um, gas station—they are talking shit about you when you leave. That is real. Yeah, no, that that's that's real. But that, you know what? That's their right. That's the only thing they got going on the whole day. That's their benefit. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> <laughs> but if you read the fine print of your contract when you work there, that's your right. Yeah. It's all you, it's all you got going on. It's all you got going on. Hey, Pat, been catching up with the VODs. If if there were two Witcher potions inspired by Geef and Elmo, what do you think their powers and benefits would be? I suggest their names be Stinky Cyclone and Baby Grandpa. So there's already a um there's already a potion in game that fits both of them already and it is i forget the name of it but it's the one that increases your damage but makes you unable to parry or dodge because both of them have that in common they have high damage but cannot cannot dodge for piss Uh uh And OGM Bison subscribe. Thanks, OGM Bison. Appreciate it. Why he barking? Is it because he's hungry? He knows I'm cooking his food. Yeah. All right. So have you bought condoms and a few cucumbers you'll get judged? Yeah. Well, yeah, not, unless you bought lube, too. Well, lube it up. Just man... Hey, who sent me this? Who sent this? I just I accidentally opened Discord. Oh, yeah, right, right. Hey, let me ask you guys. Is this a scrub quote? I'm not going to name any names. But I was talking about people not rematching in uh, multiverses. And some guy goes, I'm not rematching anyone, Lamau. The second I win, my opponent is just going to switch to double fin or bugs with Velma, Tom, and Jerry. People have become consistent with their salt. I feel like that's a scrub quote. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Paige said it wasn't, but I'm like, I think that's... I said it, no. Yeah. Are you having a monster? Yes. Oh. I made you some tea. I, I, I feel like having the monster today. Fine, but n not too many, okay? This is the monster I'm having today. Well, all right. You, I don't mean to nag you, but you... You do. Let's be honest. You told me to keep track of how much monster and shit you put in your body. Yeah. But see, she thought I was talking about skeletons and wolf men. What? That's funny. Is it not? Is it not? Shut is up. it not funny? Shut up. Miss, I had a crush on a turtle man. What is up with women and monster mans? Is it just because of the monster cocks? No, it has nothing to know. Oh, what? I just realized something. Ew, you what? know what I just... Oh, my what? God. I just thought of, like, hey, Raphael. He's like, hey, yo, it's me, Raphael. You want to do it? And then you start doing it. And then he gets in that position. And he just starts going, eh, like turtles. Oh, like, ee. Yeah. 
He starts doing that noise the turtles do when they nut. No, okay, first of all, no, it's because he would look at you and you would look at him and then he would give you a kiss on the cheek, cheek and you'd blush and say, say, say thank, thank you. you. So, Turtle Man, Boxy Robots, uh, Gorilla Robots, and Skeletons. Yeah. Yeah. So, what I'm, what I'm discovering is that Paige likes her Monster Men with a hard exterior. Yeah. With a soft, gooey center. Not like that, but, you know, like nice. A nice guy. Not like a nice, sweet... Oh, like a, like a nice guy. Well, like, you know how, like, doesn't... Okay, I'm trying to remember. You remember the movie from the... I think it was early 90s, the Ninja Turtle movie? Yeah. The craft has a crush on April. Yeah, he does. That shit. They all, they all have a crush on April. That's true. But, but it's awesome, and that's so cute. It's adorable. That is one of the best movies of all time, by the way. I will fight It anyone. is not. It is one of the greatest what's, Whoa, films what's the last time you saw it? Because it... It has been a long it time. Is, it is violently 90s. Patrick... I don't care. It is a period piece. Hold on. Piece. Hold on. So it's part of that 90s that when you watch it, you're like, this is the 80s, right? Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's early 90s. Yeah. Awful. Just an awful, Patrick, awful period. Patrick, as long as you consider it a period piece, like when you watch uh, Paris Hilton and um, oh, fucking what's her name in uh, the, a simple, The Simple Life. You know that it's a product of the early 2000s, and you enjoy it in that way, you see. I do not. What's a period piece? A period piece is like, like a... Anything that takes place in a historical era, and is, is like, uh, trying to really enact the feeling of that era. Like, uh, anything by, um, like, Pride and Prejudice, that's a period, like, and you see that's a movie or something, that's a period Anything piece. that takes place in World War II that, that goes into stuff that's not the war Basically, is a period piece. anything that's, I think it's anything that takes place ten years prior to modern, like, times. Yeah, when it was it's made. technically a period piece. Right, so, but that means that uh, Ninja Turtles can't be a period piece because it was, it, was, well, it was of its own date. Well, that's why I'm saying it's considered a period piece because if you watch it with that mindset, you can still enjoy it. Yeah. Because remember, my favorite part, my absolute favorite part of that film is when uh, they're walking, I think April is walking in the rain on that pavement and you can hear the clicking, clacking of her heels and then there's the the delivery guy, and you can hear the clicking, clacking of his shoes on the pavement. And then he shoves the pizza into the sewer. It's the greatest thing ever, and like it's the best. And I don't know why, but that moment is so '90s, and I loved it. It's great. Hey, you want to talk about period piece? Let's talk about retro gaming. Hey, Paige, do you remember the retro video game console, the GameCube? Yes. About it. it hurts man what do you mean retro video gaming to me means the atari oh yeah 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 no it's remember the dreamcast i oh, i still i fuck. i think i think the one that gets me the strongest by far is like oh what was your first video game console and they say like the playstation 3 or the playstation oh, 4 I instantly and you're like <laughs> like it makes me feel like it's horrible. And you're like, you mean the Magnavox Odyssey, right? Right? Jesus. Like, I remember we, I saw people talking about online, the Halo show, the Halo show, right? People were complaining about that, and they were like, this is so upsetting to me because Halo was the first video game I ever played. And I'm like... I was like a teenager by the time Halo dropped, man. I was out of high school. Like yeah, any, all, all Pat's saying is that anyone younger than him should just die. No, that's that's <laughs> that's short sighted. That's short sighted. But just be quiet. Oh, that's better. <laughs> that is better. You know. As, as much as the boomers are annoying, follow me here, there is one thing about the boomers that I do understand. As you hit 30 and travel beyond 30, you really get the feeling of just how stupid anyone under the age of 25 sounds all the time. 
Like, and you can apply it to yourself. I remember 18-year-old Pat, and 18-year-old Pat was like I would I would want to fucking punch my own head in the face. Just asinine little shit. Pat, you still sound stupid at 36. Well, here's the problem. When I'm 70, I'm going to look at back at me now and be like, "Oh god. Lord. Think about how stupid Pat from yesterday sounds." Thanks, Nelson. Thanks, Nelson. Do you, like, do you remember yourself when you were 16 and you want to fucking retch? Like, it's so, it's so cringe. It's, oh my god. It's so embarrassing. Oh my god. Honestly, growing pains has nothing to do so much with your body as it does with looking back and going, ugh. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, oh man, I can't wait to get older. And then that stops once you are like, haha, old people are basically dead. And then you, you hit 30 or 35 and you're like, thank God I'm not 20 anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It, it goes in stages, you know? And the other thing, you know what else I realized? When I was like 30, 35, yeah. I realized that almost every problem I had in my life for my whole life was based around having to deal with other people that were 20, right? Like when I was 20, or, when I was 20, every problem in my life revolved around the fact that I had to live with 20 year olds. When I was 25, every problem in my life had to do with the fact that I, I knew 25 year olds and we were all morons. Like, for example, when I was 25, you know what the biggest problem I had one summer was? What? That I trusted a certain friend of mine to buy movie tickets and show up before the movie started. Ooh, and see, fire. that's not fair because they were 25 and they were a goddamn moron and they didn't know how time worked. Shots fired. It w yeah, it was wooly! That became... That became a hard and fast rule for almost a hundred people, which was don't let Wooly buy the tickets. Every time I'm late for anything, Pat calls me Wooly. Like he, like Pat never forgets that shit. I remember it was it was like a Such Batman or it was a, it Pat. was some you know it was some movie that like fifteen people all you know the big friend group kind of thing all wanted to see and Wooly had bought the tickets for everyone and he showed up after the previews like we missed the first five minutes of the story of, of the movie and i vividly remember the day that i actually got to see it because it was hanging out with wooly and it was like hey we got to meet so and so for the movies um because we got to take the bus and the metro and it's like you know the movie's in an hour right and he's like ah and i'm like when are you planning on leaving? And he's like, it's at six, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I don't know, in a couple minutes. And I'm like, it's going to take me 50 minutes to get there. He, Pat, I'm going to leave right now. Pat, I think I know why he's late all the time. Why is that? Because he's constantly using his dinosaur map. Oh, that's right. He's lo he's looking at, the, he's looking at the, the bus map and he's like, well, the movie theater is is two pterodons away and then i have to take a right at the stegosaurus and i'm right there and and you know it just doesn't okay listen it just listen, doesn't connect listen, with normal time all of you need to listen to me you need to go to my twitter and look at the last thing i tweeted and it's from wooly who for some reason only uploaded yeah so wooly wooly damn it let me finish my turn, I but he only uploaded this video to tiktok so i put it on twitter uh, but it's also on the CSV TikTok. If it is incredible, you need to watch it. Wooly is—he's looking for Pepe Sylvia. It's incredible. You need so he's—he's he's it. looking at a map of North America and he's like, explaining it again to TikTok. And the funniest thing about it, and I think everyone is latched on to why Wooly sounds so nuts. Oh, is that he is exhaust he sounds exhausted wait was that the po i don't think that was the podcast no that's a video. no that's a it's new a video. video no that's a new video and he sounds exhausted because he's explaining it and it's he's so tired because it's so obvious 
It's so obvious that it's a dinosaur. Why is everyone pretending that they all didn't see a dinosaur when they looked at North America? It's so... Like... Like, we're stupid. Like, I love why it. are you all... Like, Wooly... I feel like Wooly <laughs> is, like, this close to accusing the whole world of gaslighting him in pretending that it's not a dinosaur. It's brilliant, honestly. Honestly, I think Wooly is a genius, and we're not smart enough to understand his his giant brain. That's always been the difference, because Wooly and I are just as crazy, but when I say something <laughs> nuts and people go, that's nuts, Pat, I go, yeah, probably. Because I know that. I think a lot of crazy things. But when Wooly says something crazy, he acts like you're an idiot for going, huh? And, and, and he's like, why are you fucking with me? Obviously, everyone in the history of the world has thought this. The thing that bothers me is that the way he has described this dinosaur... Sucks. Is that it makes... Well, that. <laughs> but it makes it seem like the actual butthole of the entire world... Is right where I am right now. Is, is the entire Vancouver area. Is a poopy butthole. And that would make Vancouver Island, the island to the west of it, you is see on the map. It's turd. a big turd floating off. It's crazy. Did Wooly take any psych classes? He probably took Psych 101 and Sejep as a general education requirement, but nothing beyond that, I don't think so. Nothing beyond that, I don't think. Oh, God, it's so funny. I can't believe he uploaded that only to TikTok. That Sounds was, so it tired. Was, it was incredible. He's a genius. I love it. Oh, you should probably also verbally like let people know when the podcast is. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Okay. It's also going to be uh, Tuesday next week um, because somebody decides that it's fun to just not tell people when the podcast is delayed. I don't get it, man. It's like Thursday night. And I'm like, hey, man, can we move the podcast to Tuesday? And he's like, cool, fine. And then we get to like Monday morning and I'm like, did you tell anyone that the podcast is moved? And then he doesn't respond to my text. He just tweets the podcast is on Tuesday. He's busy. No, but I feel like that's like, because if he responds to me, then he has to acknowledge that he forgot. The man's a the man's an enigma. They're the same video. Oh, oh, okay. So I did not realize that he put up a different video for the podcast preview. No, it's it's not from the podcast, but it's a video he made to promote the podcast. He still sounds nuts. I'll die on this hill. The woolly sounds crazy. That's the hill that I'll die on. All right, moving on. Whee! Time for Witcher. Hey, is everybody excited for multiverses? Gizmo, sorry, no, Stripes and Black Adam. Those are weird picks for the next two. I don't know who Stripes is. He's a gremlin from the hit movie Gremlins. He's a gremlin. I'm excited for um, Black Adam because I like playing Superman. He'll probably be very similar to Superman. Why is it Black Adam and not Shazam? Because Shazam's too close to Superman. There you go. I solved the problem for you. Superman got nerfed? Almost every character in uh, Multiverses got nerfed. Ever a lot of nerfs going around. Arya Stark got buffed in a way that nerfs her. Yeah, and Tom and Jerry, did Bugs get nerfed? Yeah, he did, but it, it didn't take. It's still too, He's still insanely strong. He's still crazy strong. Whee! What'd they do to Arya? Uh, they made her heavier, um, and then they, inc they made uh, some of her moves more reliable, but it did it in such a way 
that now uh, a lot of the good combos that people figured out don't work anymore. So at like a low level, she's better, but at a high level, she's worse. Boy, oh, witches. Hey, look, I cleaned up the saves. Guys, I fucking love streaming this game. I'm having such a good time streaming this fucking jank fuck experience. By the way. Like all... Oh no, Journal. Where's the alchemy tab? Oh, it's in here. Uh, no. I want... No. Is it Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt! Increases damage inflicted? That makes dodging and parrying impossible. That's the Zangief. That's the Zangief! And the Elmo. Thunderbolt. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. I'm here about the notice. You have Al Ghul Maro for me? Yes, three fresh doses. Splendid! Take this gold! I did it! It's been a while since I've seen a janky lower quality game being LP story is great though. Um, that the thing is, is, and you're gonna, anybody who's gonna stick it out with me, by the way, can you still hear me if I talk at this normal volume? I've realized that part of the reason that I sound a little blown out is that I'm, I'm not used to the microphone being here. Um, I, I'm, I'm still not used to it after months. Um. I really should, because I've been, hey, what's going on? Like, at all times. Um, the game's a tad loud, but I can hear you. Oh, the game is a tad loud, isn't it? Eh, let's just go ahead and... Let's try that. There we go. Now, yeah, keep it in the green. Um, yeah, I fucking hate that baby crying noise. Hey, anyway, we're off to the swamp, and we're gonna clean up the swamp today, guys. Um, I can't wait to get the microphone back in my mouth. I guess that's Paige's problem. You can't tell if that did anything. I uh, dec I increased the limiter strength. So now the music can only rise so high, but I should sound fine. Is that work? No, that's not working, is it? Wow. Well, no, we're no. We're here's here's a solution. Here here's a solution. How about now? Oh, that's too loud now. Oh, that's far too loud. Ah, fuck it. How about right now? Yeah, okay. I can do this. Bepert Reynolds asks a relatively philosophical con uh, question. That has to do with the nature of morality through technology. Do you ever think that humans will be able to control the climate without weaponizing it? To this, I reference the uh, late and great science uh, populist Carl Sagan, who describes in his book Play of Blue Dot the issues with both the space program and meteor deflection technology. The primary issue with meteor deflection technology is that if we were to see a meteor, we could probably strap some rockets to the meteor to me and deflect it so Too that sore. it would not hit the Earth. Unfortunately, developing, implementing, and creating a practical use for that technology would then lead to a situation in which the same technology and methods used to deflect a meteor away from the Earth 
could be used to deflect a meteor towards a very specific part of the Earth that you really wanted to hit, which would actually create a clean uh, nuclear explosion that would not leave any lasting damage or effects from a radioactive potentiality, and that would actually be even worse than nuclear weapons. So, probably not. Probably not. All right, now, do I have my wolf pelt? I do. I have my wolf pelt, which means it's time to go get my nut on. We're going to go get my nut on. The nut's going to be on, bro, brother. Uh, then once the nut is sated, uh, what we're going to do is um, I'll pay some druids some cash. Then we're going to stick a lightning rod into a golem and then fight a golem for a rock. Now, we have yet to do the whirlwind tour of the swamp for the final rock, but we've been making some good rock preference. Sorry, uh, progress, rather. What the f- You gotta be- It's having trouble syncing my saves, too. Why? I don't know. Now I gotta exit out of GOG Galaxy. And open it back up. This is great. This is just great. Oh. Thank you. Well, you can tell he's not feeling too bad with him borking. All right. Let's, uh... Let's try that again. You hate this game? But why would you hate this game? It's a good game. It's, it's the best game. Oh, my God. Oh my god. You know what I just saw? In GOG Galaxy's, like, metrics? The average play time ever on GOG Galaxy for Witcher 1 is 11 hours and 49 minutes. That's... That's real funny. Why did it save that? Well, that... So it's me coming out of Kalkstein's house. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. That's, uh... That's before where I'm at now. That's before where I'm at now. But yeah, as somebody said, uh... They called this a lower quality game. I think the saddest thing... Is that, um, this is not a lower quality game. This is an overly ambitious game. Um, and it actually gets real, real good the longer you go. Oh, that dog is slorping. He's slorping, brother. Give for some moonshine and two busted ah. The booze is done. Everything reeks of fish. I wish Geralt was your dad? I don't think you do. Oh my god, doggy, get out of the way. Thank you. Torrent weather. Trans Where I f take time. I'll f oh fuck. Why is oh god, this guy is such an asshole, I hate take it. Time. Wait. How many Alright. The story is excellent, I think. I don't think it's pretty good. I think the story is, like, genuinely excellent. And I think a lot of the world-building stuff is also good absolutely excellent. If, um, 
I heard Geralt has a daughter. How did that happen? Well, there's this thing called adopting that exists uh, in the Witcher universe. Now, I know that might be really strange to hear because it apparently doesn't exist in our universe. Um, but in, in the Witcher universe, uh, there's this magic ability people have to take care of kids that did not come out of their own body. wonder what crashed it. It like, looked like a memory leak. Like I literally just stepped on like a part of the environment that goes, no, game crash now. Is this Deadly Premonition in quality? No. Deadly Premonition is quality despite itself because it's hilarious. This is a janky Eastern European PC game that... Um, is way too ambitious and has a genuinely excellent story, but the main reason people hop off on it is because the combat is terrible. And I mean, it's an RPG, so you have lots of combat. We, we spoke about where little dryads come from. Of course. The I got the I got your pelt here, whore. What's that? Witchers are sterile. Intimacy without procreation can be good. How? All right, so I tried this. Sex relieves stress, improving body and mind. Hmm. We dryads must be vigilant oh. and agile to defend our home. And my body... And that's all it takes. Would you like to be with me? Yes, for the day. Come. That's all it takes. Be like it'll it'll it won't it'll I'm gonna de-stress your pussy. And she's like, I guess that makes sense. All right, let's talk to a druid. Oh, they're fighting the crap over there. I think I've got to talk to the Elder the Druid. Here we go. Ancient. Maybe I don't understand these runes. What is it? Storm still 500 orans? And not an oran less. Mother Nature maintaining her margins? Don't make light of the sacred. So I think my favorite part about Geralt as a character uh, from the show that, would, that I watched uh, from what I have read of the books and definitely of the portrayal in the games is that um, Geralt is a professional but he's a blue collar guy and as a result he is exhausted of all this like he's not a guy going yeah let's do an adventure he's like oh Christ I gotta do a, oh I gotta do a fucking adventure oh my oh god I hate oh fuck like what give me the what here's 500 orans i await my storm it's no easy feat i'm no common mage harnessing storms with absurd stone posts what posts any one magical can activate the three stone posts at the golem burial ground. They attract lightning. Maybe I can use the posts to wake the golem. Fortunately, that creature stands beyond the posts' range. Experimenting with nature's forces can only bring misfortune. How are the posts activated? Touch them while intending to attract a storm. But danger abounds. A careless instant can cost your life. I'll be careful. Farewell. I know your intention, Witcher, and I would prepare. Imbibe some of those potions, for you'll need them. A Witcher without potions is half a Witcher druid. A Witcher, he says. Also, the, the timing on that's pretty funny because it's raining right now. That being said, I feel fairly confident I can take the golem. However, if I cannot take the golem, I will just drink more potions. I think I have cat. Yeah, I have cat. I also have some unknown potions. I have two unknown potions. Uh, wow, I gotta sell Blizzard. I hate Blizzard. Blizzard's a piece of shit. 
Oh my god, it's right here! I didn't even realize. Wow, it is extraordinarily close. Alright, here's your lightning rod. Isn't that fun? I should have saved the game, huh? I didn't think it would- I thought I would- oh well. Oh well! This bitch. Look at me beat on him. These damage numbers are real. Oh, fuck. I remember him being this tough. I really don't. Luckily, it's quite slow. Oh, right! I'm an idiot! Oh yeah, he's losing it. Oh, goody! Well, shit, now I gotta get my nut on again. We I really should have saved. What would you... In how... Set would you yes. come? I did it. Sex card obtained. Mm. Are you a fool seeking a magical strength giving beverage? Give it, give it. What? Here's it. I'll be. I know your intention, Witcher. All right, good. Definitely gonna level up soon. So, by the way, this Order camp and the Scoia'tael camp, they ask you to fight in a big battle between them. Don't do it. Don't help them. If you help them, then the others will be mad at you forever. How many times should I restart Witcher 3 before giving up on the game entirely? I mean, if you really dislike it quite, quite often, you're, you're probably not gonna, you know. You know, I've never used Yurden ever in this game. That is not what Yurden does. That is not what Yurden does. That is not what Yurden does. That is not what you're. That is n no. Defeated! I got a golem's obsidian heart. Hooray! Need, found six Sephiroth. I need four more. 
Now, gentlemen, it's time to figure out how to lure Azar Javed into a trap. How am I going to do it? Just don't know. Just don't know. Every time I sit down and play this, I, I start thinking about how much I love Witcher 3. I really would love to stream Witcher 3, but I'm, I'm afraid that that it would not possibly be popular enough to continue for the length of time that it would need to continue. Because boy, that's a that's a big ass game. You're like me in Underrail? Man, I wish I could get into Underrail. That just sounds like a great game. Will he played Elden Ring for like four years? You'll be fine. See, the difference is Elden Ring is the most shit hot video game that I think has ever existed. Well, Witcher 3 was shit hot many years ago. <coughs> Pardon. Many years ago. The waters seem unsettled. A new customer. Fuck off. Alright, we leveled up. What does that mean? We got more talents. Alright, so now we're on the silver talents. What do we got? Strong steel? No. Quick steel. Fast silver. Strong silver. Okay, so next one, we're gonna go with group steel. For the silver. Hell yeah. And then, we are gonna start maxing out the... the... this. So, bleeding, pain, precise. There we go. So the next level, we'll do this, and then we'll do boop, 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 and then we'll have all the sword talents in bronze. I think the only way that Witcher 3 works in an LP is by skipping most of the content. I, th I disagree with that strongly. Extremely strongly. You know what? They are supposed to be putting out a new Witcher thing in a couple months. The the next gen version. Good sir. It would it would make me very excited if the next gen Take version time. of Witcher three also came with some changes. Ready. I wouldn't have. Paid. Witcher 3 works as an LP entirely on the strength of a streamer? Well, shit, God, don't say that. Th that means I'll never be able to stream it. Like, come on, now I'm, now I'm depressed. Imagine Wooly versus Witcher 3 decade long LP, that'd be pretty funny. I do have to say, I think Wooly should be very proud of himself for managing to stretch Elden Ring like he did, and maintaining interest in that, the way that that worked. Like, it's, it's fairly difficult to maintain people's interest over really long periods of time, unless it's something like Isaac, or, you know, something that, that just is forever, forever good. Hey, Detective Raymond. Let's go talk. Let's go talk about being a detective. Yeah, shout out to Northern Lion. Good yes. for him. I wanted to ask you about the commander of the Royal Guards. I saw him in town some time ago, busy bashing perverts. How come? What don't you understand? Everyone knows the Guard Commander hates anyone he can call deviant. Everyone knows, but few care. Yes? I'm ready for Ramsmate. Good. He leads Salamandra's armed force. You have to kill him. Oh, yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. Won't be easy, but I'll try. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go kill Ramsmeat. Real bad. Okay, I killed him. Yes? Fucking super dead. 
good news. You'll be happy, Raymond. You killed Ramsmead? He won't be bothering us anymore. But that's not it. We'll nab Giant Super soon. dead. I have a plan. Your family will be avenged. Incredibly so, dead. What's your plan? I wanted to take care of this alone, but if you're willing to help. Of course I am. You're paying me after all. Besides, we're friends now. Yes. Friends. Now, since we've defanged Javed by getting rid of Ramsmeat, let's plan what he and Kolkstein want so much. And that is? The secrets inside the Swamp Tower. I know how to open it, and I'd like you to do something. Of course. What? Come with me to the Swamp, and when I open the tower, take the secret books, hide them away from me. We can't let them fall into Javed's Oh, hands. so don't right. want that to Where happen. Go? Now. We need to secure what's hidden in the tower. All the books and scrolls. Bait for our target. Just one thing missing. I have yet to unlock the tower door. That's where I come in. This stone is the key to the tower, or part of the key. You make sure you get Kalkstein interested, like we agreed. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I got three Sephiroth to go. This fight, dice poker, Berengar, tower. Found six Sephiroth. Oh, apparently there's a Sephiroth in St. Le Lebiota's tower. How strange. Is what the game is telling me. Also, I only have six. I thought I had one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Well, hopefully that's just bugged. Hey, Shawnee. Quickly, I need to get back to work. See ya. Oh, hey, man. Siegfried spoke of you. I bet. Talk to Ram's meat. Finally, a song. Looks like I have to deal. All right, go in. Uh oh. What do you. I'm getting a little worried. I'm supposed... Like, doing all these quests is supposed to get you all the... All the Sephiroth doing every side quest. And now I'm like... Let's go talk to Kalkskeen, then. The journal lies to you about how many you have? Yeah, I don't know where to get the remainder, though. I'm a little lost about how many I need to, like, how to actually acquire the remainder. I have three left to get. Hmm. How to through the west? What? You'll find the fairy. Yes, thank. Hmm. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. Well.
Let's see. You need to be placed. Da, 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 All right. Which ones am I missing? Yeah, he's right there. Okay, which ones do I have? I have Tipera, Ketherath, and Chokma. Okay. Chok do I have Gev Gevrath? Let's find out. Gevrath is the yellow one. I do not have Gevrath, which is... Oh, where do you get that? Gev. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a list here. Okay. Found on the cockatrice. Received from Calc... Uh, uh, Calcstein. God! How was... How was I... Sp <sighs> that... Oh my god. How was I supposed to know that? That's... Oh, where is it? Is it a glossary? Okay. One of my favorite understanding. The statues of Melitele, one in the swamp, the other in St. Leviota. I have no idea what prayer without faith can possibly mean, but it's worth a try. You have to give food to those items. See from Vasca, Cave in the Swamp, all acquired in the Swamp, from the Golem. And then the last one. Okay, so that's the only two I need. So we're actually done with chapter two. We 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 did it, gang. We beat chapter the second. Oh, you know, I'm gonna save the game and drink those potions and see what they are. Hey. I don't know what that other one did at all. Okay, good. Well, that's worthless. Both of those are worthless. Do I have any food on me? I don't. We're gonna have to go get some food, brothers. I can't- we're gonna get to chapter 3 today! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, brother! There's Zoltan. Hey, where's the wench? There we go. Thank you, wench. I would like a pear, and I would like a bun, and I will also take all of your boots. Every booze you got. Thank you. This looks a lot better than what I remember when I played. Got a lot of mods running on this? Nope. Zero. There's zero mods. Actually, no, there is one mod to clean up the Vizima Confidential quest, but it's not important, and honestly, I didn't end up using the events in it that triggered it. You, move along.
All right, Melatele. Do you want some buns? I got... Wow, the, the journal is insanely broken, by the way. I, I, it, I think it's pretending that I just... I got two. One, two, I did get two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, got it, did it. Did the quest. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna confront Azar Javid. And we're gonna beat him up. Oh yeah, the look at the lighting on the Witcher uh, medallion. It's actually lit. It's very impressive. How strange. It actually looks really good. What do you mean, surprise Monday Night Witcher stream, Ran Ryu? I put these things up on a schedule. Granted, that schedule only went up 90 minutes ago, or two hours ago, but still. No more swamp after this, guys. We were two swamps in, and that's gonna be it. Except for that other swamp. How many? Except for that other swamp later. Hey guys, do you know what's cool? We gotta hit up all these monoliths. A new customer. Come aboard. Every monolith. Hit it up. It's so good. Because we now have to take the nine chakmas and place them in all the obelisks. The obelisk seems ancient. All right, that's one. That's one chalk ma. Completed. Zephira and Obelisk merged. The old spells still work. All right, on to the next one. This is very much the Kami Dogus. Very big Kami Dogu energy. So somebody wonders if Drowners give diminishing returns in this game like they do in Witcher 3. They don't need to. Mo actually killing monsters in this game gives you maybe 1% of a level. Way less, actually. Maybe 0.1%. But the quests give you half a level to like a full level. Quests are the only viable way to make experience go. Which is why I'm ignoring them. Zephira and Anopolis emerged. The old spells still work. Pacifist run? No, neutral run. Geralt doesn't like to get involved in politics, and this whole terrorism versus the KKK thing doesn't really wet his whistle. Oh, hey, it's Siegfried! I'd hang out with you, but fuck off! All Geralt does is get involved in politics. Why do you think he's so stressed out about it all the time? Why do you think he doesn't want to do it so often? Every time he gets involved with it, it's a shit show, and it's awful. So you call Geralt an enlightened centrist as a joke, but the main thing is that 
Um, the political affiliations in this game are so awful. They're so, so bad. Like, they're, oh, it's real bad out here. Like, ev like most people outside of your immediate peer group, like Zoltan, Dandelion, Shawnee, Triss, Yennefer, uh, Vesemir, Lambert, Eskel, uh, etc., are massive dirtbag pieces of fucking shit. Like, like, wild pieces of shit. By the way, for people who played Witcher 2 and 3, or just Witcher 3, there is actually a lot of stuff coming up in Chapter 3 that relates to Witcher 3 in cool ways that most people who just played the third one don't know about. The set. My medallion's vibrating like mad, so the spell must be working. The tower door should be open. I can't wait to see Kolkstein's reaction. Alright, we did it. <clears throat> what the hell, bro? Alright, we're all good. Steel sword, strong style. Let's go. Raymond! Aren't you eager to learn the truth? I'd rather stay focused. Should I get the book from the tower? Yes, hurry. We can't let Kalkstein get ahead of us. I hope that murderer swallowed the bait. I think I made sure of that. I did it. Gate of water? Oh, I learned Axie. What a fucking piece of shit. Hey, look at that! The Tower Mage's book. Enhancing creature growth and enhancing thunder and shield spells. White Raffer's decoction. Some money. Some gem. A fancy torch. Some booze, some fat, some drinks. I must prepare to face Azar Javed. So they give you this so that you can go out there and fight him. But I don't need that. Because I'm going to beat him up. You'll soon learn the truth. Excited? More than you think. Just one question. Yeah! Where did you get the idea to assume Raymond's identity? Clever. From you, of course. He was getting close and you trusted him. I would have been foolish not to take advantage of the situation. Did you forget it would put you face to face with a Witcher? Well, I'd be foolish not to take advantage of this situation. Enough chatter. Now kindly lead me to where you've hidden the items stolen from Karen. That's the wrong sword! Oh no, he's a magic man! Oh no, what did I get affected with? I'm blind! And also, I'm in a lot of pain! Oh, what the fuck is that? Is that Nefreet? Fuck, ow! Ow! 
Ow! Oh shit, it's the professor! Why would you say that out loud? Now Professor is my friend! Are you- oh, you're- you're not- you're mean again. Okay, well... Fuck off, Professor. So, I'm unconscious on the floor, by the way. I'm unconscious. All felt the battle in the swamp was the beginning of events that would soon rock Tamaria. Sensing the approaching conflict, both sides were eager to test the enemy. A routine skirmish between patrols erupted into a regular battle. Led by unwavering faith, the Knights of the Order showed greater determination and emerged victorious. The Scoyatel learned that freedom could only be achieved by shedding blood, their enemies, and their own. Azar excluded me from the battle. When Triss woke me, heaps of bodies appeared before my eyes. It was the last time I was able to avoid taking sides. Dun dun dun! See? That's the neutral ending to, to chapter two. You're mistaken. I have him under control. And not just him. They're all leading out of my hand. I regret that Voltest is away at the summit, but I trust you'll tend to the King's Council. I assume you've resolved matters with Livarden as well. Yes. I made an offer and he accepted. He claims his superiors had similar plans, but we beat them to it. Men can do nothing but talk and then always claim the initiative. And how is your Witcher? I should be able to convince him. Don't overdo it. Geralt can be exceptionally perceptive. I know. I must get back. I'll contact you when it's all over. Never let the Witcher guess what you hide from him. I can hear you, bitch! Bitch, I can hear you! Triss? Should you be up? I'd rather make sure you've recovered completely. How? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. Oh no! Double card! Well, you seem to be at full strength. It must be that unusual Witcher's metabolism. Triss, how did I get here? Pure coincidence. I was scanning for magic anomalies and happened upon a false trail set by Kalkstein. You found me in the swamp? What happened there? I don't know. The alchemist is still there, examining solid stone. But he won't find anything. The greater anomalies are here in Vizima. Magic anomalies in Vizima? Yes. I'd appreciate it if you could help me figure them out. But back to your health. I thought I was at full strength. You misunderstood me. Physically, nothing's wrong. It's your mind that worries me. What about Explain. it? You raved for hours. I had no choice but to read your thoughts to learn about your injuries and which poisons you took this time. I'm sure you read beyond that. I couldn't help it. Your thoughts were quite loud. In any case, I know about your recent adventures. Can you help me? Recover your memory? I doubt anyone can, but there's a small chance... <laughs> that, small chance yeah, what? you know, it could. From what I saw, I think you would benefit by creating a stable personality. Meaning? Geralt, please, this is important. Just limit the psychobabble. You need to take a stand on the world's problems. It doesn't matter what no. position, just that you choose one. 
A strong identity may help restore your memory. Can't you just tell me what you saw? No, I don't want you turning into my vision of Geralt. I want you to decide for yourself who you are, without looking back. I shouldn't take an interest in the past? Exactly. Your memory should return in due course. We'll see. Geralt. You said something about magic anomalies. Various things can cause them, but more importantly, they can be the cause of true evil. When I last felt this way, you and a sorceress were trying to capture a genie, destroyed half a city in the process. You probably have no recollection, but a lot hung in the balance. I don't recall. Hey, I Triss! I have some What's magic that sorceress's name? The They'll help us locate the anomaly source. Could you tell me anything about that in more detail? Like what the like what, how we solved the genie problem? All right, give me the sensors. I'll take care of it. Always eager to please. What are friends for? Hmm. I saw a perfect wall cavity in the trade quarter near town hall. Place one there. A second in the temple quarter near the entrance to the sewers, and the third in Vizima's cemetery. We'll create a typical Radcliffe triangle. You know, of course, that triangulation is most effective in these cases. Yeah. How did you get here? Long story. When you men went chasing around... Which proved effective. By some miracle, I decided to look for Salamandra using unconventional methods. Any results? Very good ones. You'll learn it all in due time. Why not now? To get this information, I had to agree not to tell you. Patience, Witcher. Hey, Benice says, this is making me look at Witcher 3, Triss, in a different light. Um, both of Geralt's long-term love, uh, love interests in Witcher 3 have real problems. Triss is overtly manipulative. However, Yennefer is talking to a guy who lost his memory and thus fucked around like he cheated on her on purpose and just shits all over him. <laughs> like, the, the part where you talk to Yennefer in Witcher 3 and you're like, and she's like, I can't believe you fucked around on me. And he's like, bitch, I lost my memory. And she's like, I don't even want to hear that shit. Whatever lost your memory. And I'm like, no, he did. He No, he did, though. Who are you talking to through the mirror? You heard me? Ah, oh, sorcerer's business. Nothing important. Sounded serious. I had to make a few promises to learn about Salamandra. You could. Trust me, it was nothing important. Yeah, Triss is pretty good, but she is doing a little bit of a big lie. Whereas Yennefer's just like a complete bitch. I'll see you later. It's tough. It's tough. Hey, it's, tough. Really it's tough. It's tough. Luvarden, a merchant, wants to see you. Honestly, he I think that at the new I think that I Geralt like should have ended up with Shani. Important people will attend. I don't know. Including Princess Ada, whose curse you lifted. Apparently, she's slightly obsessed with you. I'll think about it. Oh, okay. not. All right. Not Princess this. Ada. Maybe I can gather some information there. Six this evening. Here's the pass that makes you official in the trade quarter. A pass. Well, in addition to a quarantine, the authorities of Azima have imposed martial law. How'd I miss that? It only covers the trade quarter, which you haven't entered. So how do these passes work? Only the quarter's residents are allowed to move about. I have a house here, so I was able to get a pass. So what do I do? Well, I registered you as residing here. Falsely, of course. Perfect! Listen, about my identity. Progress already? I'm still analyzing. Geralt. What's with the passes? Well, in addition to a quarantine, the authorities of Azima have imposed martial law. How'd I miss that? 
It only covers the trade. That's portal, weird. How come this? Only the so what? Well, false. All right. See, see you later. later. New quest. Help Triss. New quest, Identity. I should talk to Triss about the problems with my brain. Maybe talking with people who knew me would help me recover my memory. I like how he totally ignores what she just had to tell him. I have to place three sensors. I've been invited to a banquet at the new Naracor. You found a teleporter. Where do you want to go, bitch? To the Swamp Tower, to Calcine's lab, or I'll stay here. Let's talk to Calcine, shall we? Yo, Calki, where you at, brother? Oh, you're not here, are you? Pardon. All right, let's hit the. Oh, this no, no, I'm I'm right here. No, no, it's fine. I think Calixtine's outside. Pardon the pardon that that girly sneeze. Wrong with the girly sneeze. Uh, where the fuck is Calixtine? Is he not here? For fuck's sake. Cal ah. Was he upstairs? I don't know. Hold up. I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. Excuse me.